And here is Sydney Frigo and Doug Winters. Sydney Frigo's car. Whoa! Doug going out to do the burnout there, and Sydney Frigo's car died, and they finally got it to come back to life. And he's going to roll it forward. The Artavinko Fuel Tech machine for the Brazilian in the left lane. Sydney currently the number 10 qualifier, and for Doug Winters. For Steinar and NGK, D Wagon down there in the right lane in the Chevelle. Just love how like old school the Chevelle looks for a promo. So Sydney Frigo, Brandon Stroud down there turning the knobs on that machine in the left lane. And Doug Winters over there on the right side. Sydney Frigo currently 10. Doug Winters on the outside looking in right now. Not a lot of people expecting that to continue. He sits 17th. Then again, I don't think anybody thought Cal and Albalucci would be last. Oh, Doug Winters. It hopped on the trans brake. Sydney Frigo goes down and goes 581, 5245. That's an improvement. Doug Winters kind of ran it out a little bit and then lifted. But boy, Doug Winters had to bring that car up on the trans brake and it like hopped forward. That was weird. It's like it almost like it blew through it. It hopped and then it stayed, but by then, he had red lit and Doug knew. The problem with that is, the second you break the beams, the timer starts. So just because the car sat back down and then launched, didn't mean he was gonna get a clean run out of it. Doug Winters was effectively DOA and knew it and decided to just save the parts and pieces. And how about this? We're gonna go into the final round of Fuel Tech Pro Mod presented by D-Wagon with Doug Winters and Khaled Albalushi not qualified. 